I, my first huge interest in life was uh, music. Uh, I, I became a drummer at an early age. I always played funk music and Latin and jazz. And then, sort of in a parallel process, I, I got hooked on photography and, and, and film. Uh, and But I didn't feel all that comfortable in, in school and I, I felt very, very much at ease uh, in nature, strangely enough. And uh, I, perhaps, but, but what, what it led to was that as soon as I started taking pictures on my own, it was trying to capture the beauty of things that moved me. So, um, I, you know, it, it's a way to tell a story and I eventually sort of gave up my drumming and focused entirely on, on uh, photography. And music and, and visual art or photography can seem very far away, but to me they're very, very close. It has to do with expression, it has to do with, with timing, it has to do with, with musicality. When you follow this girl running along a beach and you want to capture this moment, you have this eagle flying next to you, it really helps to feel the, the rhythm what's around you, so uh, I, I'm still a little drummer within. <laughs> Meerkats are very sociable creatures. They are, they are very sort of smart and well adapted to their environment uh, and um, sort of hard to get to at first, but we worked with scientists that had gradually habituated a few groups in, in the Kalahari in, in southern Africa, as, which enabled us to get Within seven, ten weeks, we managed to get really close to the meerkats. And once you get that close, they can smell you. They they can't really see all that well in close distance. They see things like miles away. But as soon as you're that close, they're like, "What is going on? What, who are you?" And then they will sniff you. And then, not being a meerkat, we didn't we didn't smell good. So they would anal mark us. They would use their anal glands to smear out this thing all over us. And we couldn't do anything, obviously. You have to just be there. You have fought really to habituate. You really, your National Geographic assignment, you can't just shy away and say, ooh, don't do this to me. You just keep silent. And this is sort of an honorary thing to boot, <laughs> which is a little bit bizarre. But then you become a meerkat. Then they are all over you, which is really funny.